I am Melvin York with Daddy Pete's Plant Pleasure and today we'd like to talk about and show you a little bit about cuttings, rootings, and uh, propagation. Uh, in the uh, plant world today, plants are expensive, uh, but neighbors like to share. Years ago, we had always had grandma's this or Aunt Sarah's that, and uh, the way that uh, the older ladies did it and the older men was they, they would take a cutting, go home, root it, and then they would have that part of the plant, uh, which is kind of neat because when you look in the yard and you see that, you know that where you, you got it from. So it means a little bit more to you maybe. All right, uh, this morning early, I took some cuttings and uh, we did some hydrangea, some twisted or uh, uh, willow. We did that, or a lot of people call it corkscrew willow. You notice how that the limbs grow, they're all crooked, they're beautiful hanging, some persithia, and we'll even do some vegetable plants. Now this is one that, uh, my son and I propagated, there's actually two bushes in here, and these are turkey figs. And we did these uh, probably about three months ago. We did them off of hardwood cuttings, and the difference between you got hardwood, semi-hardwood, and then you've got green, or uh, we've got the, uh, the new growth. So on these cuttings here, we chose to do hardwood. You can do semi-hardwood, uh, which I do like to use a lot, or even into your new growth. But you want to make sure that if you do new growth, you incorporate some of the semi hardwood with it. Okay, that's just a couple that we did. So this morning we're going to talk here and we're going to take a hydrangea first. I'm going to let you see that we've done one of those and already prepped it. And uh, as you can see where the leaves came off, they were about this big around. I cut the stem and it's cut on an angle. Okay, left the nodules out. Now, in propagation, you, when we do this, we're looking for a soil that will drain, uh, but yet hold some water. We're also, we need to have a shady place because we don't have mist beds and we don't have all of the, uh, um, the expensive equipment to do this. And you don't need it, okay? But you do need a shady place. We're gonna take off these other leaves because this is what gathers a lot of the heat. So during the rooting process, we want a lot of energy, as much can to be going to preparing roots. So I did leave on some leaves, if you've seen that well. Now, I don't use a rooting hormone or a rooting agent uh, with mine because I use the Daddy Peach Nursery Blend. And with the cow manure that's in, uh, incorporated into this mix, it uh, seems like we don't, don't have to use a rooting agent. I always have successful rooting without it. So, uh, you know, my recommendation if you're rooting is to use the uh, nursery blend of Daddy Peach or either the raised bed mix. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that, now we have it prepped, and we're going to stick that in. I don't want to go all the way to the bottom, okay, into the nursery blend, and then we want to wet. We're going to wet it real good, and these containers, or any container you use, should have holes in the bottom, and that's going to be our checkpoint. Now, when we see water start coming out of the bottom of the plant, we know that it's watered all the way through. The soil has been saturated, so we're not sending our plant into a dry environment, okay? Now that one came out one side a little bit, so I want to make sure that I get just a little more and now we're coming out. Very good. So simple enough, okay? Same thing with the, uh, with the twisted willow. I gathered one of those this morning. Willows root easy. You can notice that I actually cut a long stem apart. This is segments of one. The nodules are here. They have ones here, ones here, and ones at the bottom. So again, we just insert it into the Daddy Pete, not all the way down. We want to make sure that we dry pack just a little around it. And that's going to need just a little more. So that nice soil in the bark gives us good, good aeration for our plant and our root to grow and reach out after the, the water that the cow manure is holding, but not dead up against the, the stem. So we, again, we water. And we want to go to that point of where we're running out. And there we are. Great. That's exactly what we want it to do. And we also did a Prescythia. We need just a little bit more soil there. And let me have a, one of the cups. Let me show you an example of a, this is a four and a half inch cup. But notice that the drain hole is in the bottom. Always make sure that you have drain holes on the bottom of any of your pots. You do not want to do that unless, the only time that you never want holes on the bottom, if your 
potting a plant and putting it in a water garden and it's sitting down in water already. Uh, you don't want your soil to be eroded. But any time that you're doing any plants anywhere else, make sure that you have good drainage in the bottom. Roots do not like to get grounded or wet, just like me and you. Here's a Pacifia. A lot of people call them yellow bells. Done the same thing. Notice all the nodules on this one. Very, very easy to root. So we just stick those in, right like that. Give it just a little down thing. Want to make sure that we do have, push down just a little. We want it up against the plant, but not packed against it. And again, we water until we get to the point of water coming through our drainage holes. Once they're through the drainage holes, then we do know that our media is saturated and then the next time we water, it doesn't take near as much. Okay? So there, we've done that. Okay, I did promise that we would do a vegetable also. So uh, there's a story behind this tomato, and we're going to tell it, and you're going to have to watch the next video to find out what it is. So, but uh, when it comes to potting, and that'll be a, a video that uh, you'll need to go to after this one. But uh, if you'll notice all the stems here, you can propagate late tomatoes off of your own tomatoes. Now you can go in and take a cutting about any size you want. I'm going to take one right here. Let's move that out so you can see. You see this limb coming up right here? I'm going to go in right in the corner there and snip him off. Okay? Then I'm going to take that one and I'm going to cut that one. Now notice one thing about the tomato plant. See the hairs? Can you see the hairs that's all the way down it? Those will form into roots once they hit in the dirt. Isn't that neat? So what we'll do is the same thing, same process. We're gonna put that in, not quite all the way to the bottom. Push down our soil just a little bit. We're gonna add just a little bit more because the water's gonna take it down some. Just look at that Daddy Peach Nursery man, isn't that great? And you can just see the nutrients in it. It's wonderful. I have been rooting and potting in nursery blend uh, for over 20 years. And I always have great success with it. Again, there's no need to use a rooting hormone or a, or a rooting powder when you're using this. Or I've never had to. There may be uh, something a little harder to root that you might want to. But uh, so far, I've never ran across it. And I've rooted a lot of different things. There we go. Nice one, that's what we want. So these are going to head to the shade and uh, they'll be watered twice a day because, and overhead watered. And uh, we're going to see what happens to them here in just uh, a few weeks. We'll come back and take a picture and let you know what, uh, what's happening on them. You can notice this one here that we potted early. It's already starting to wilt a little bit. That's fine. The tomatoes will do a wilt. And then we call that hardening off. Won't hurt a thing. They'll pick back up in a day or two. If you see anything start wilting, don't worry. Uh, just, just keep watering, keep on keeping on, and you'll have that plant that uh, Aunt Molly or Sister Sally or whoever uh, had one like it, and you've got one too. Or again, plants in your own yard if you want more of them. So we'll check in in a couple of weeks and uh, see how these are doing. <laughs>